Guys, Bitcoin is struggling with getting above the edge of the orange box right here. And the question on everyone's mind right now is, of course, are we now, after having this rejection, going to continue towards the downside and see lower prices for Bitcoin? Today, I am going to talk about that. I am going to talk about Grayscale. When are they going to stop dumping Bitcoin? I do have some news on that as well. I am going to show you the performance we're seeing right now for Bitcoin. Is this dip? bigger than what we can expect here for bitcoin is this going to continue towards the downside guys today i do have a lot of things to talk about so make sure to stick around from the beginning until the end welcome back everybody my name is chris bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day teaching you how to make money in this market if you're new to the channel then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now so just like i said in the intro guys we from the point of uh support here which is the second orange box at about thirty-eight thousand seven hundred. We have had a bounce for Bitcoin. We bounced up to the edge of the orange box up here. But from this point, we have been rejected now a couple of times. One, two, three, four times actually so far. So yeah, everything is still supporting and uh, I would say um, respecting the levels that have been outlined here. And I am expecting overall that there could be a good possibility that we are going to stay within this range for a little while longer. Now, a lot of people are very fearful right now. Very, very fearful. The reason why is, of course, Grayscale continues to send Bitcoin to exchanges. In fact, today, they sent another 17,000 Bitcoin worth over half a billion dollars to Coinbase. So they are sending more and more Bitcoin. And uh, right now, they are holding about 543,000 Bitcoin still. Um, but if you look at the pace, it is actually not increasing so the pace is getting a little bit slower in terms of the amounts that they are selling in general but also remember that much of this money that is being sent to coinbase and being sold from grayscale is being put into other etfs okay so some people just want to get out of the two percent uh, fees that grayscale has on this etf so they want to get out of that so they're selling the grayscale and they are then buying other etfs and honestly, the dip that we are seeing right now, I think that we are going to look back at this and see it as a good buying opportunity. You already know what I think about this, guys. And there has been another point of fear as well, and that is that Mount Gox had been sending out emails asking for details to repay some of the Bitcoin from the 2014 hack. As you know, guys, Mount Gox was hacked in 2014, and the traders or the customers of the exchange have been waiting for 10 years right now to get those Bitcoin back. And this is causing a lot of fear in the market that these people that are gonna get their Bitcoin back are going to sell it into the market, which they might very well do. But here is the thing though. We've seen these kind of things before, the emails being sent out and you know the fear about uh, the Mt. Gox people dumping Bitcoin. But now it's potentially a little bit more accelerated because of the fear that is already in the market. And then this on top of it could have some more effects. So overall, you're seeing a lot of fear in the market, which is fantastic to see. If you look at the fear and greed index, by the way, you can see we are at 48, uh, which is uh, if you look at the last three months, it is the lowest point we've been for the last three months. And if you look at the last year, we haven't really been at these levels for very prolonged periods. It is like here in August, and then obviously we went up. Then we had a little brief stint here in March of 2023 as well. But so the fear and greed index is getting very, very fearful. It is continuing towards the downside. So let's keep our eyes on that. But overall, guys, nothing has changed for me. I do still think that Bitcoin is going to, uh, in this cycle, reach higher prices. Are we going to go down a little bit further before we see higher prices? We could do that. And in fact, if you look at Arthur Hayes, the founder of BitMEX, he believes that we could see a 30, what is he saying? Like a bottom for Bitcoin in between 30 to $35,000. And he believes that we're going to see kind of like a bit of a mini crisis for, uh, for the traditional markets early this year until March. So you're going to see, this is according to him, we're going to see the traditional markets go down and that is going to draw down Bitcoin with it. However, Bitcoin is going to then have the bigger bounce of the assets. Okay, so this is what he believes. You can check this article uh, for the reason why he believes that. Uh, but um, even if we come down to like thirty-five to $30,000, let's just do the calculations here. So let's say we come down to 34, right? 
that is another 10-15%. So it's not like the end of the world, even if we come down to these levels and it's going to be big buying opportunities. But I am not necessarily thinking that we are going to go down to, well, I do not think that we're going to see $30,000, guys, because if you look at the overall liquidity in the market, it is going to increase and it is increasing already. And if you look at the traditional markets, they are at an all-time high. So for me, it doesn't make sense really to go down to $30,000 in this kind of environment, but we will see. If you get the opportunity to buy that, and if I get the opportunity to buy at $30,000, I would be absolutely delighted, but I do not think it is going to happen. But could we go down to 30, like the bottom of this box here at 37,700? Well, we could of course do that. Could we drop down lower, $36,000? Nothing is out of the realm of possibility, but I'm gonna stick to what I said. I do think it's highly unlikely that we go down below this orange box here at 37,700. So if I had uh, to, uh, to make a decision here, whether I think we're gonna go below this orange box or not, I would say no. So I'm gonna stick to that, guys. And if you look at the dumps we're seeing right now, in terms of historical performance on having years, year to date, uh, if you look at all of the previous years here, you can see that the correction we're seeing right now is completely in line with what we usually see, okay? So this is something we've seen before. So I'm not uh, gonna say that this dip is disastrous by any means. Of course, a lot of people that have been jumping into Bitcoin recently, they haven't experienced this, so they might be a lot of, uh, they might be very fearful right now, but 20, 30% drops is perfectly normal, even in a bull market, guys. So for me, I'm just going to let this play out. The grayscale situation, we are going to get bullish momentum back. The liquidity is increasing. A lot of this money is going to flood into crypto. And as well, uh, if you do not believe me, then believe Franklin Templeton, who says that uh, now that financial advisors are getting more familiar with Bitcoin, they are going to start to promote it even more to the old money. And the old money has so much money sitting on the sidelines. So if they just allocate a few percent to Bitcoin, we will already be flying, guys. So that is what I got for you for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.